Hello, how are you guys doing? I apologize. I am a minute late, a whole minute. I apologize. Um, you know, I had to make sure I was ready to go. So how are you guys? Happy, what is it? Happy Wednesday. I hope you guys are doing okay. I hope you guys had a great start of the week, a great start of May. I hope, yeah, I think that's better. Maybe. There we go. Uh, so Medi is taking a shit. Aviana wants to start with the shits. No, I wasn't. Um, all right, guys. So if you want to come and talk to Aliyah, this is what you do. You send me an email at medimonaco1 at gmail.com, or you just help yourself and you click the link in the description of this video and uh, you should be good to go. You know, easy, easy, easy. Here we go. Uh, am I putting it? Oh, no. Still fucking it up, huh? apparently. Here we go. Here we go. That's all. So uh, I am excited for tonight because uh, uh, I didn't tell you. I, I want to try something tonight. I want to... Um, thank you, Sigma, talking about Meli look, uh, look nice tonight. Thank you. Uh, I want to do a pineapple show after dark. So that's how... The show is going to be called I Have a Second Girl, but we're going to go live on Instagram. So it's going to be IG Live. I'm sorry for anyone who don't have Instagram. Maybe today is the day you need to, to create one. So we're going to do the pineapple show after dark at 8.30 p.m. Eastern time. So we're going to finish this show at, uh, did I say it right? Yeah, it is. Oh, my God. I'm, I'm No, the, the time is off. <laughs> Sorry, it's my time, 8.30 p.m. So um, Pacific and uh, here, uh, there, or wherever you are, you, 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 do the, you do the math. But you understand what I'm saying. After we get up here, we're going to go to Instagram and we're going to do, thank you, somebody saved me, 11.30. Thank you. <laughs> that, that would be 11.30 Eastern time. Um, and we're going to do a pineapple show after dark. We'll probably stay for an hour if you want to come shoot your shot at the other girl that I have, you come over there, okay? That's the plan for tonight. All right, so who is here? Uh, I hope you guys are liking this. Uh, this. I'm, I'm trying something else, you know? I, I think I don't give enough love about the pineapple show on uh, Instagram, so I'm thinking maybe I should bring it to Instagram too, but we'll still be here on uh, YouTube, obviously, for uh, the regular pineapple show Mondays and Wednesdays. So let's see, after dark, what they're doing, getting naked for the gram. Hey, you're going to have to come over there if you want to know. If you want to figure out what we're doing on the after dark, you got to come at that time. All right, let me go text uh, Aliyah. Why is she saying me to text her? I can't text, girl. Where you at? What is she? Ah. I hope she's not telling me. Nothing bad. Let me see. I, I got to text her real quick. Um, maybe she's having issues uh, connecting. Let me see. I apologize, guys. Let me see. All right, let's see what she's talking about. All right, so um, what else? What are you guys talking about? Mainly, if you had a twin, I'd still choose you. Oh, thank you. <laughs> thank you, sir. All right, who is here? Let me say hello. Pinarello is here. Hello. Uh, talking about let me pour those braids in the front. So you're trying to have me all that part, that, that part missing? Um, no, sir. Wait, I didn't tell her who I was. She might not know. Uh, who else? Uh, Big Hurt, hello. Kill JD, Terrell Scott, hello. Um, Phoenix Maverick, hello. Denti Jen, hello. Boss MVP, Evie Parsley, y, uh, XYZ, I'm far, M, M by. I can't read. I, I'll be telling you guys I can't read. Uh, designed. To fly, hello. Um, 
DR334 WhatsApp Shahran Lassidi MJ K278 Hello a bunch of you are here early Miss Natural Michelle WhatsApp um Fabienne Fabienne Lyons um Al Depau WhatsApp Frankie King BHY BHY Hello uh, Josh K, hello, uh, Robbie Brown, um, James, did she text me? I don't know. Let me see. No, nope, she didn't. Um, Big Cheese, Mr. Miyagi, Quentin Moorman, Aviana, I already said it. It's AJ, what's up? Uh, Moya, hello, we got a lady in here. More ladies. You, you ladies need to tell your, your girlfriends to come. And you guys need to tell your girlfriends too. Yeah, I, I, I told you, I'm so bad with technology. I had to come to my friend's house to make sure that if I fucked up, she she's the one that fixed it. I didn't. I, she fixed it. That's why I was like, I'm gonna go to my friend's house. I got you. Okay. So the the chat is gonna be on your ass. No, Chad, don't be on my ass. Please don't be on my ass. The chat is going to be on your ass because you're 35 minutes late. No, Chad, don't be on my ass. I promise. I didn't mean it. We'll see if that works. Be us. sweet to me, guys. All right. So how are you doing? Tell them not to be on my ass. Don't let them be on my ass. Wait, I can't I can't do nothing. <laughs> yes, yes, I can. can. <laughs> I'm not typing there. Wait, so, how can I see so, the chat? I you don't can't. See you can't. Oh. You have to have another device to see it. Oh. But it, it's going to be posted afterwards. So if you want to go back okay. after, you can. So how was your day? It was so good. I had like three meetings today. And then after that, I had to rush here. And then I set this up and it wasn't working. So we tried like a laptop. We tried an iPad. And then my friend came in and she helped me. And she used my phone. And she did my phone. I couldn't do my phone, but she did my phone for me. Wow. I'm yeah. glad you made it. So uh, we're going to rush through this part a little bit because uh, we, we are not going to stay on that long. But um, so tell us about yourself so they can know about you. Um, so my name is Alia Kader. Um, I started my career really young. So I started my career when I was like 15. Me and my friends were on Tumblr. You remember Tumblr? I don't know if y'all remember Tumblr, but... Mm -hmm. We all decided to start an art collective specifically for people of color because people of color were getting paid an exposure. Can I hit a blunt on here or no? Yeah, you can. So people of color will only get paid for exposure in the same galleries where white people would get paid for their artwork. Okay. They would be like, just be happy to be here kind of thing. And mm -hmm. that, that didn't work for us. So you can either complain or be a part of the change. So we just were like... We're starting art. We had big platforms on Tumblr, so we Instagram wasn't big at the time, but we were like, everybody go to Instagram. We started this collective just for oh, like, no. queer people of color, and we literally mm -hmm. just like, hold on, give me a second. Mm -hmm. A bunch of my homegirls are out there, but. Um, Basically, we were just like, this is going to be just for us. This is not for y'all. This is just mm -hmm. for us. And we started it within two weeks. We had submissions from all over the world. And then New York Times, Huffington Post, everybody picked it up. And basically, it was like the first time that a collective said, we're not, we don't care about whether you feel like it's racist or not. We are here specifically for our people. And that's it. Okay. That's it. Like, and then us posting a 13 year old kid from Malaysia who borrowed his uncle's phone and went to an internet cafe to text a picture of his like painting. Mm -hmm. He would get hired by Teen Vogue or he would, you know what I mean? We were creating these out of this world opportunities for wow. people that went through lengths to even send us their art in an email, you know? So mm -hmm. that inspired, I think, I feel like a lot of things that I do now. Um, from there, I started um, making music just posting it like as a joke online and then mm -hmm. a bunch of labels hit me up. So I took it more seriously and started That's making amazing. projects. Mm -hmm. And then after that, I started doing cannabis art shows. So right now the main two things that I do, like we're adults. So my jobs are mm -hmm. my cannabis art shows that I throw and the music that I make because those things make me a lot of money and they like are my passions. Those are the things that I like can put effort into every day and like feel 
you know. So oh, with always the art shows, I go to different cities and I pick mm -hmm. the best artists in the cities. People vote for artists. Um, artists submit their artwork, and I get rappers, singers. Um, sometimes I had fire throwers. I've had poets. I've had so many different like inspirational ass artists that are from all different mediums and they come together and they make this crazy thing and i created this cannabis world with like weed fairies every time your weed is out they come with a joint like you know like what the f like and there's a like a weed fairy with a joint right there for you my cannabis chef brings out these exotic desserts with like infused ingredients so that you get, you're just like everybody and then like the after party i have my celebrity friends that are like potheads come through mm -hmm. get to talk to all their fans and shit and everybody leaves saying I never thought that my the biggest my favorite artist was that cool and they'll be like this is the highest I've ever been in my life and that's those are my two goals like I want you to be as high as you've ever been I want you to feel like I got to see someone that I admire and look up to and we were equals they treated me like an equal they made me feel like I could be just as lit as them I now I know that I'm not in the wrong place I don't have the wrong dreams you know okay oh that's cool okay well uh just making sure are you you are single you very <laughs> okay. Do you want to tell us your age or no? I can. It's up to you. Do you? Is it okay if I tell it? Yes. Yeah. No. I'm whatever you're comfortable with. I'm 23. 23. Okay. Yeah, cool. Um. All right. So, uh, since we're gonna try to find the man of your dreams, you gotta help <laughs> us out. Okay. So, what type of personality you're looking for in a man? <clears throat> so I think the most attractive quality to me is kindness. And I know that's so cliche, but I've been around so many rude people mm -hmm. and even sometimes rude in attempts to impress, which no woman in the world thinks that makes sense. No woman has ever been like, he's such a dickhead. <sighs> like, no, like ever. But for some reason, that's a thing. Mm -hmm. So to me, like seeing how you treat people before I even ever let you treat me any type of way, I need to see how you treat people. So if you're kind, if you're genuinely just like, no one does anything wrong to me, I won't do anything wrong with them. If they're kind to me, I'll be kind to them. If you're that kind of person, obviously, if anybody does anything to you, you need to lay them out. But if someone's, and you, you have to be a kind, nice person. And then on top of that, um, what I've realized now for sure is that. Um, I used to put limits on like, I shouldn't date an artist or I shouldn't date an athlete, I shouldn't do whatever. But what mm -hmm. I know now is I want to date somebody that genuinely believes in love. Like, believes in love in a way where to me, like, we can be in love and still have a lot of fun. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like, we can have a lot of fun and still be in love. So being in love doesn't mean having restraints and da da da. We can talk about what kind of fun we can have, but I know that I am a lover girl. There's some people that love being single and just love not having a partner and there's some people that even if we are in a single vibe we can still have some sort of partnership or whatever but i do know i'm a lover girl so i do want someone that believes in love because in the past i would be attracted to somebody that changed their views on love completely because they met me and now they're like you know what now i want to be married now i want to have kids Fuck that before you ever met me ever before you even knew i existed mm -hmm. you want to be married have kids that, that should be your goals and then when you meet me you're like now this is someone i want to do it with because if i'm the reason you change it then that's not i've learned that's not good you don't like it okay yeah. all so, right so so let's talk about his uh the age range what's the youngest what's the oldest you would date i don't really have a limit in terms of youngest i don't like to be honest i don't like guys my age because I can't ever say I've ever met a guy my age that's on my level, honestly. And if he okay. is on my level, it's because he does something very childish. You know what I mean? Like his job is something ridiculously childish to the point where it's like, you know, I've never met someone that's my age and has his shit together as an adult and his job isn't something weird. Like if you're okay. a gamer, cool, whatever. But if you're one of those weirdo, like, nerd gamers that lives in a basement or some we should look like, I don't want that you know what I mean like but there's some gamers that are gamers and they have a bunch of different other lifestyles that they live where they're just like here's another way that I can explore life and here's another way that I express myself that's cool but then there's some a lot of guys my age that I know are very successful are those like basement gamers mm -hmm. if you're 23 and you're yeah 
That's basically it. So Okay. I've never really met guys my age, but in terms of as old, like thirties, I'm cool with thirties, like Okay, that's the max. I don't know. I mean if you're like in I don't know. I don't want to put a limit. There could be somebody that looks okay. young and maybe he's forty. I don't I don't know, but thirties is where my like my yeah. Okay, cool. Like the max. Yeah. Do you have a height requirement? Mm. Not really. You have to be taller than me, which is not that hard. I'm how tall are you? I'm five two. Well, actually, I kind of look tall here. That's what's up. <laughs> I'm not okay. this tall. I am five two. Okay, cool. So, <laughs> I'm five two. I don't know why I look so goddamn tall. I kind of like it. So five three is fine. Uh. <laughs> I mean, like you know. So five, you, tell five, me what you want. Five, five six. Five six. So maybe, maybe, yeah. Okay. No. Hold five, me down. Hold me down. <laughs> That's fine. Okay. Five six. Uh, how no. much money does he need to make? More than me. That's it. Well, we need more than me, or as much as me. Okay. So we don't know what that is. <laughs> well, I'll let that when when they reveal. Well, you know what I mean. Okay. <laughs> If we uh -huh. ever ask them, then we'll know. <laughs> you know what I mean? If they make more than me or not. Well, but we want to know what's your requirement so they don't come if they don't have that. Tell me a number. Okay, then I won't talk about more than me. I'll just talk about a number that you have to make more than me. You have to be making... You have to at least be making, like... I want to say six figures, but niggas is going to think 100K is okay, which is not. So it's like, but I'm just going to say at least six figures a year. Yeah. So you said 100K is not it. So what is it that you're cool with? I'll just say six figures. Let's just say that to be, you know what I mean? <laughs> but you just said 100K is not enough. I'll just say that to, I'm, okay. I'm, telling, I'm telling you, to you okay. me, but, okay. but. We can say that's fine. That's we'll fine. we'll try to find more than a hundred because because I've I've always between me and you I've always wanted regular guys to try to holler at me but they never do only like entertainers or rich niggas or mm -hmm. whatever holler at me and I've always wanted a regular nigga that just works a good decent job makes good money and just like wants a good relationship da 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 to hit me up but I feel like they think they can't approach me because they think I'm only gonna want someone mm -hmm. in my field or in my world that's not i feel like that's not the case for a lot of women <laughs> that are entertainers they don't want entertainers but only entertainers hit them up it's like yep agreed yeah. all right well we're gonna try to find the, the man of your dreams <laughs> um, so we i'm are, really happy uh, to be here with you a lot of people have invited me to this but i'm like until a bomb ass black girl invites me to one of these things i'm not gonna do it and then boom here you go thank you. well thank you thank you for being here no so, i'm yeah, happy to be here Mm -hmm. So just uh, in case if you haven't watched the show, I'm going to bring a guy at a time. You can talk to him, ask him questions. He's going to ask you questions. And if you don't feel the vibe or you don't like how he looks, you don't like what he's talking about, you're not feeling it, you just say pineapple and then we move on to the next guy. Pineapple is crazy. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you just okay. say that. Also, there is an instant pineapple. So the chat can help you if they feel like the guy is not good for you. Or if they feel like you're talking too long to, to that guy, they're going to send $20 in the chat and it's going to be an instant pineapple. The guy is going to disappear. Okay? okay. But the guy can come back. If you like him, he can come back. But you got to do okay. the line again. All right. So, so we're going to go. Guys, again, if you want to come and talk to Aliyah, right? My hair looks right now, but yeah, Alia. You say my Ali, name, right? Alia. Alia, like Muhammad Ali. Ah. Okay, Alia. Okay. So, guys, if you want to come and talk to Alia, this is uh, where you come. You hit the link in the description of this video, and then you can just join the room and um, hopefully talk to her. All right, we're going. We're starting. I got uh, premium quality. Hello. Hi. Going on. Hey. So, you want to talk? Quick, real quick, is my music too loud? Yes, it needs to be off. Okay, Thank I'll you. turn it off. I'll turn mm -hmm. it What's up, Alia? What's your name? Imante. Imante? Yeah. Cheers. <laughs> you looking good tonight? Thank you. You know, I threw a little something off for my girl's live stream. You know, had to get right for my girl. <laughs> I love that figure. Thank you. 
You know, a little petite. How tall are you? I'm six four. That's cool. Where are you from? Where I was born or where I'm at. Where are you from? Meaning, like, what you repping? You know. I was born in South Jersey, Burlington, and I'm in Woodbridge, VA, right now. VA. <laughs> what about you? I got family there. I'm from Brooklyn, but you know, I moved around my whole life. Like, when I say my whole life, I mean my whole life. Like, all over from New York to Atlanta to Ethiopia. So now I live in Los Angeles. I've been in LA for like the past four years, but yeah, I love it here. So I haven't left. It looked like you got a pup in the background too. I see that. Boop. Boop, no. Okay, good boop. What's the name? Huh? What's the name? Boop. It's my friend's dog. It's my friend's dog. I'm at my friend's crib because we're going out after this. Oh, you baby. We have to go to the studio and then we have a photo shoot. So, hey, somebody dropped some money in the chat from my, my girl Melly for introducing me to Aliyah. I'll take uh-huh. a coat off. I'll show you what kind of coat this one is right here. What? How many coats you got on? I got on two coats. Why? Can't tell what's in the chat. I can't really see the chat. I can't see the chat either. I, all I see is what's posted on on the screen, like when me and you were talking. There. So, Imante. So is there anything you want to know about me? I want to know everything about you. Okay, maybe my girl Mel can take over. <laughs> Give us more direction. All like, right, what, I want to know what your Instagram is. What's your Instagram? That's what you want to know. You're going to find it. We're going to put right it there. My Instagram is my name. My artist name is my name. My Instagram is my name. Everything that I go by my name. Your, you know? artist, your artist name. Yeah, I just met my name. Like, I don't have a different name for anything that I do. Everything is my government. Like, literally my name. People well, have asked me before. They're like, okay, but like when I've met people, they'll see what my name is on social media. And they'll be like, Ali, I could it. Okay, but like, what's your like, what's your government name? I'm like, the same. <laughs> that shit don't even sound made up like Melly Monica like Melly Monica I wouldn't think that's made up it is <laughs> you fucking lying mm-hmm. you're so, fucking lying it so sounds so up, naturally lit like what's, so what's the your what's, name yeah Mel oh it's Melanie but people no but it. but Monaco what's that from Monaco it's a country uh, by France. Oh, that's yeah. a, okay. I knew Melanie was Mel, but I didn't know that Monica was. But it sounds so, that's a fire name. I love that. Thank you. <laughs> I love it. All right, I'm gonna follow you later tonight. But um, I want to keep talking to you right now. But you're not saying shit right now. <laughs> Y'all are going back and forth over there jabbing. No, we're like, waiting for you. She said, do you have any questions for me? You're like, yeah, I want to know everything about you. Ask okay, something. so the first question was I wanted to know your yeah, IG. All right, I see that's right there. I'm going to follow you. Thanks. And then the second question I want to know, you asked me how old I was. How old are you? 23. I turned 24 September 5th, if you want to send me a gift. <laughs> Okay, I'm, I'm gonna make I'm gonna make sure I send you a gift though. Twenty three, you say you turned twenty four. This is a little joke. I wasn't serious, huh? You said you turned huh? twenty four. Yeah. Okay. That's a big year. I mean, this is not the Jordan. <laughs> you you? Get Jordan I felt like I was now. in trouble. You're like you said you turned twenty four. I'm like. Well, I mean, yeah. twenty three is your Jordan year. Twenty four. Like it's That's Kobe, Kobe yeah, yeah, I remember like, so like my 23rd birthday was such shit because I lost my phone and I couldn't see a lot of my friends and I was so upset and I was just like, you know what, it's not about Jordan no more, it's about Kobe, so I'm going to stop focusing on the fact that my Jordan year, because you know how, like Mel, you know that everybody's Jordan year is mad important, like that's when their birthday's mad lit, so my birthday wasn't lit on my Jordan year, I was like, it was lit, I mean, I was in a jacuzzi in a big ass pool in a private mansion with my homies i guess that was lit but there was a lot of friends i didn't get to see so i was upset but like mm-hmm. like nah yeah I just... for sure well uh big draw says no you're done you're done talking to Emante. that mm-hmm. was enough girl were you interested 
I thought he was cool. I thought he was really cool, but um, he's, um, I thought he was cool. I just didn't think he had, uh, I don't think he had much to say to me. Okay. I want someone that can hold the conversation. Forget, if you if if there is nothing, you gotta say pineapple because the chat is not always gonna save you. Oh, and okay. So I can people. okay. Oh, I can say pineapple. Okay. Yeah, you the one crazy. Crazy to say it. And the chat sometimes helps out. That's so crazy because they know that that's the code word. So I'm like, oh my god. Okay. You get you gotta say it. Okay. If you don't like the guy, if you don't okay. like him like that. All right, let's see. We got Stephen. Hi, Steven. Your mic is off. How are you doing? Hi. How are you? I'm good. You? Chilling, chilling, you know. So I'm not going to ask you about your age because I already know from the last conversation you just had. So what exactly are you exactly looking for with a, uh, in a relationship or in a guy that you, you seem interested in? Um, someone that's very kind, someone that's generous. Um... And someone that like wants to live life. Oh yeah. A lot of people don't want to live life. Motherfuckers just be out here existing. I want someone that wants to live life. And if you want to live life, then there's a lot of things I'm gonna have to explain to you. If you want to actually enjoy life and you want to have like a beautiful experience here, like a lot of things will always be done for. So. Okay. Okay. That's yeah. good. That's good to know. So, um, also. You said where have you where have you uh where's where's your favorite place that you've been to that you that you've stayed in other than LA? Um well I recently just traveled to Belize and I think my friend has a private island out there and I was there making a piece for, he he has like a mansion he's building for his family out there and I painted a piece out there and there was a whole day where I had the island to myself and I got to look at the ocean and I got to like eat fruits I've never eaten before and see little animals I've never seen and like get a massage by the shore and just like make like I got to see where my art took me and I got to be in this beautiful place in a place I never thought I would be because I don't come from shit. Yeah. Like, I don't come from jack shit. Nothing in my childhood says that I would ever end up even affording a trip let alone be in a private island in Belize. So when things like that happen, you're just like, God is real, first of all. And second of all, like, I'm, I'm doing what I'm meant to be doing because what I'm doing is what brought me here. My art is what brought me here. So Definitely. I would say the a private, my friend's private island in Belize is the coolest place I've ever been. Nah, it seems from, 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 from everything you've explained, it seems like from, from all the struggles you've gone through, you seem to appreciate everything you have right this moment in life. Which is pretty good, cause you know how you 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 know how you you, you know the struggle it took you to get there. So you kind of appreciate life a lot more. You see life a little different. So that's I've had a job cool. since I was like, since it was legal. Since, yes. I, since I was like thirteen and a half, I think fourteen. I've had a job because I didn't want to ask my mom for shit, so because I couldn't. So the second it was legal to get a job, I got a job, and I've been working ever since. And then I started doing art, and it just worked out. So I got to stop working a normal job by like 15 and start traveling for art. But I was like, I'm, I need stuff. I can't ask my mom. I'm about to hustle. And I had a job, Like I'm talking about like an assistant at a car dealership. I'm talking yeah. about like, like I'm talking about like a, what was the other job that I had? Um, an assistant at a physical therapist's office where I was like literally doing things that nurses do. Like I wasn't even certified to do half the shit I did, but I was good at it. So they let me like, yeah, I ain't I, I'm sorry, I, I didn't mean to cut you off. No, I'm good. Go ahead. But I ain't gonna lie. I, don't, I hate, I hate two, I hate two out of your three criteria uh, criteria that you mentioned earlier. The, the yeah, the height and uh, the age. First I don't hit the little hundred thousand. I, I was asked what I liked, and then I, <laughs> I said so. I don't hit the hundred thousand. Yeah, I don't hit the hundred thousand. I don't hit the hundred thousand. I don't hit the hundred thousand. I don't hit the that's not short. I'm five two and a half. That's tall. No, I'm me. saying I hit. I, that's what I said. I hit two out of your three. So what was the other one? I'm five eight. I'm thirty two. Uh, I have okay. a good. I have a good job. I don't make a hundred. Uh, I don't make six figures, but I'm pretty <laughs> close. Okay. When you're in a relationship, do you spend money on your woman? Do you make sure that she feels like a queen? I'm not talking about money, meaning Louis Vuitton bags and da da da. No, no, no. I'm talking about based off the type of money that you make. Yeah. 
if you make in, in a day, if you have $50 to spare, you're going to spend $20 buying her some flowers from the grocery store and like a little drink, like a coffee or whatever. And you're going to yeah. sure have that. If you make $500 that day, you're going to spend $80 getting her like a nice little perfume or whatever from somewhere, like a little mini, mini Burberry tiny perfume or whatever for her to have when she travels or whatever. Little things like that where you're just like, whatever I have, a tiny bit of it is always going to go to spoil. It doesn't matter how much you have. It's yeah. about what you put into your relationship. There's niggas that have billions and don't don't put nothing into it. Pay rent. You know? Well, the chat says, get him off. I'm coming to collect my girl in a bit. Okay. The Dav Noble is coming for you. Did you I'm ready? <laughs> did you like Steven? No. So why you you keep on talking? You are a talker. So if if you're not feeling the guy, you got to say pineapple. Okay. From the now chat? on, I will. No, from now on, I will. From now on, I'll say. I wish I could see the chat. I don't see the chat. So if I could see the chat, like, then I would be able to be like, let me see. What's the difference? Oh, you go to comments. Okay, okay, What's okay. What's the difference if you, if you see the chat? It's about you liking No, the but at least I get to see what everybody's feeling, too, because I'm just like, I'll get to know when I'm being too nice, you know? I mean, you just got to see if you like the guy. <laughs> Okay, That's but I feel, mean, I feel mean. This is my first one that I've ever done, so I feel mean being, like, chopped. But I got you, I got you. But we get people who want to talk to you, so the longer you talk to other people, the, the okay. less amount of guys you're going to be that. able to talk to. I'm not okay, saying be mean, but you got to say it if you're not interested. Okay, I got you. All right. Let's see. We got Finesse. Hi, Finesse. How you doing? How you doing, Ali? What's up? Not much, I can't not see much. you, nigga. What's up with you? You can't see me? I, I can't talk to a nigga in the dark in the bed. Like, what's up with you? Chilling. I had a long day. You can't turn the lamp on or nothing. Like, you don't want me to see your face. <laughs> okay. Is that better? Is that better? Mm, you could sit up, too, because you see me. I'm dressed up, and I'm sitting in a... Yeah. Is that better? <laughs> That's cool. Okay, talk to me. Talk to me nice as well. Talk to you nice. Yeah, it's so nice. So, so what do you, I mean, what are you looking for? You're 23. Yeah. You have your whole life ahead of you. I mean, are you really <laughs> looking for something serious or are you looking for something? For it now? depends on what you want and what you have to offer. It's like, do you want, what's like, you do realize when women are single, they also care about what the, what the other person wants too. They're not always like, I know I want a relationship or I know I want to have fun. Sometimes they're just trying to see what the other person wants too. I mean, what I get it. Want? What do Don't I want? Me. Tell me what you want. I mean, this is really about what you want, I, honestly. But what I want, I mean, I want to meet somebody, you know, have a good time and see where it goes. You know what I'm saying? Where are you from? I'm from Philly. Philly. So you get down? I mean, like meaning to beat a nigga up is what I mean. Right. Be, nah, nah, I'm, I'm a lover, not a fighter. Even if you have to protect somebody? I mean, I mean yeah, I'm a, definitely a protector. But I mean, I'm not talking you know, about fighting for no reason. That's stupid. So, so nobody I, knows me, about around here. Well, nobody, well, me, no, nobody can right. know. But right. to protect well, let me, let me, well, let me just tell you the field I'm in. I'm in. So I was in the Air Force. Uh, I retired. I did 20 years in the Air Force. Uh, now I'm currently in law enforcement. Uh, I'm a correction officer. And, um, you know, I mean, it's all about how you treat people at the end of the day. You know, a lot of my fellow correction officers, you know, they have a long day because they're cussing the, the, the inmates and stuff out. I use a different approach. You know, I mean, I had a younger brother who was killed like 13 years ago. He was 21 years old. And so when I look at these younger guys, I look at them like my, you know, like my younger brother. You know what I'm saying? A lot of them that's in jail, they're not really bad people. They're not bad people. They just made... Bad, they had made bad choices in life. You know what I'm saying? And, and if you really want to keep it 100. Okay. No. I want to say pineapple for a long time. So say it. I said it. I'm practicing. I'm getting it. <laughs> you did it? Uh, you said it before and I didn't hear? No, I said it like it was, when, it was the beginning of that story when I was ready to say it. Okay. Okay. 
No worries. Let's see. Uh, Charles, you're here? No? No. Uh, blessed by many entertainment, you're here? No? Okay. Oh, he's here. Okay, I'll come back to you. But hey, Dondre. Yo, what's up? Hi. <clears throat> Aliyah, that's how you say your name? Aliyah? No, Alia, like Muhammad Ali. Alia. What's <laughs> yeah. popping with you? What's popping with you? I'm chilling. I'm over here listening. I'm not even going to lie. You just like funny as hell. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, I, I'm real live realizing. I'm like, why is she going through all these conversations that dawned on me? I'm like, she high as hell right now. No, I just, this is one of my first times doing this. And I, it's hard to be like chopped chopped like to somebody's face i'm not i'm not used to doing that if you're if it's like my third time doing this i'd be used to it but because they know the rules so they know that when i say pineapple i'm telling them to their face that it's done for you so that's a crazy like to me i, I just feel bad because i don't want to be mean to anybody or make anybody feel bad but but it's but hard it's, after to, the it's third hard or fourth you're like you okay really you know what nice. wrapping up pineapple you know what i mean like so that's how I, so I was like i got used to it by the so now i'm ready so you know what i mean don't, it's hard for don't me to play believe. yourself because I'm I'm ready to pineapple a nigga immediately. So I'm I'm used to the pineapple. Don't 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 get too <laughs> tell no, it, I feel tell you. Them out. <laughs> so so look, can I ask you a question? Yeah, what's the word? I, I I actually can't stay for long, so I, um I'm I'm at work right now. But um <clears throat> but I I I I, I am interested because I did like scroll through and see your picture. I was like, okay, she cute. So <clears throat> like what do you like to do? Um, other than lie. other than smoke weed, I'm not gonna lie. I am a workaholic. Um, I love to smoke weed because it's one of my jobs. Like, um, where for real? What's that? This is all weed that was sponsored. Um, I was paid to test, smoke it, and tell them what how I like it and what my favorite flavors are. Um, everything that I've loved ever since I was a teenager, I've turned it into a job. So I love cannabis. I throw cannabis art shows, and it's one of my biggest uh, incomes. Um, Word. I love music. I make music and it's my second biggest income earner. Cannabis has a lot of money in it because I get sponsorships from my favorite brands. So sponsorships are what bring you a lot of money as opposed to music where like you get sponsored more when you're signed to a label. And I don't really want to do that yet. I'd rather just have the independent money. But when I'm ready. So you, you do music? Yeah. yeah. I make music. What, uh, what kind? Like, like what's your. Like, um, our, what, would be, what would be a reference that would annoy you? But people would associate you with that artist. Like Winehouse and SZA, I guess. I don't know. Really? Oh, word! That's interesting. What do okay. you do? What do you do? So I'm a concierge um, at a, a like a luxury um, apartment or whatever, and I actually just started a, a sales funnel agency. This is like. You don't like it, job? Pineapple. No. Okay. Pineapple. All the pineapples in the island. <laughs> <laughs> You're out of control. Okay, let's see. We, we got more for you. Uh, <laughs> y'all, y'all don't laugh. Y'all don't laugh. <laughs> Blessed by many, your your um your mic is off. Hmm? Oh. There what's we go. Good? What did what did do? What did do? Gone. How you doing? You say Alia. Hmm? Alia. 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 Okay. Yeah. And you from Ethiopia, you say? Yeah. Oh yeah. The concierge. Also, pause real quick. That for background for everybody in the comments, the concierge is like a. I have a bad memory with somebody oh. concierge to where I'm like never again. Like you know when you. <laughs> Like if you had a bad experience with somebody that's in a smoothie shop or a bad experience with someone that's at a Sephora shop, you just hold on. That's one of those oh, yeah. like, concierge. Never ever in my life again. And I didn't even deal. It was a person, a friend that I knew that was dealing with the concierge that doesn't. I'm never gonna concierge is a no no for me. <laughs> like I don't want to get into it because I'd have to tell somebody's business. But no. no but yeah, that's it. Though. You know. Back to you, sorry, go ahead. Yeah, but 
Sure. How is it? How is it here? How, where are you at now? In Brooklyn, you say? How yeah, is I'm it in Brooklyn? Oh, okay. I'm in DC. You're in DC? Yeah. That's the first. Yeah, I'll be up there too. I'll be going to the Bronx though. I'm like yeah. in the Bronx side. So, That's good. So, man, I'm happy to be on your little chat, you know? <laughs> Pineapple? You say you're a little hard. Yeah. No? Not changing the vibe. All right, let's see. Uh, Ch Chad Marco, hello. Hey! What's up? What's up? Hello, people! Pineapple. Yep. Agreed. <laughs> Agreed. Uh, sleep season. Hello. Oh, Aliyah. How you doing? Hi. What's good? Where you I'm at right sure. now? At my homegirl's hmm? crib. At my homegirl's crib. Oh, like, what's she's a few minutes what's away city? from I live in Hollywood. Hollywood? Oh, shit. Okay. Okay. So, I guess you know, you an artist. If you could collab with one person, who would that be? That's a good question. Well, the person I dream to collaborate with is deceased. So, Amy Winehouse. But somebody alive. Um, I guess Beyonce. Beyonce, okay. Well, why is that? Yeah. Why is, is it like the... that woman's vocals will carry any record to heaven? Mm -hmm. record, mm. carry my record to heaven. If I just hop on that little magical pony and I just ride off into the sunset, I would love the chance. Uh, like, I mean, that's, that's uh, the only vocalist uh, left that I That just shock you? Uh, so, you, uh, so do you uh, you do you mostly sing or you rap or like how do you go about that with your music? Um, I do rapping, but it's like Erica, I do the soft talk rap. It's not like rapping like a like Kodak Black mm -hmm. or like Lil Baby or anything like that, you know? <laughs> Oh, uh, okay, okay. I like your fit. I do. I really do like your fit. Can I get 360? Can I just see it one more time? Just let me let's see. Mel, ask chat if they want 360. Yeah. If chat wants 360, yeah. chat, chat, chat wants 360. Chat, let, let chat, chat wants 360. The number one, if chat doesn't want a 360, I'm not gonna do a 360. A number one, yes, Look, yep. there you go. Yep, uh, they say she got hips. <laughs> Yes, one, one, one. Show that shit. That's what they say. <laughs> All right. Mm -hmm. Okay, girl. Hey, I don't know if I'm on the camera. Yeah, you are. We see it. Yeah, it's poking. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh my okay. gosh. All right. I, lie to you. I, Aaliyah, I like you. You like me? All right. I don't know if that's a good thing. I don't know All if right, that's a good thing. All right, pineapple. Not yeah, you, you over here it's yeah, acting you like you don't hate. <laughs> <laughs> he acting like he on a date, like at dinner. Like. He was like, all right, okay. <laughs> All right, let's see. We got Greg. Hi, Greg. What's up, man? What's up, chat? What's up? How you doing? Hi. So, <clears throat> you you would like kindness, right? Hmm? You would like kindness. Absolutely. Okay, okay. So, could you be kind to me? Absolutely, of course. If you're kind to me, I'm gonna be kind to you. Okay, okay. And I, I honestly, I had second thoughts of come on here because 
You are from <laughs> Brooklyn. Oh, what? Brooklyn bitches is, is brutal? Like, what you trying to say, nigga? What you trying to say? Nah. What you trying to say, nigga? Nah, nah, nah. What you trying to say about Brooklyn, nigga? What you trying to <laughs> pause, say? Now, pause, talk pause. Your, now talk your shit. Now talk your shit. I am I was born in the Bronx. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, okay. Yeah, okay. <laughs> so what what do you like to do for, for fun? Um create. That's what I love to do. How about you? Mm, I like I like to be on the computer. Yeah? Yeah, I I am actually going back to school to um to to get into computers. Um, <clears throat> okay, that's dope. So, what what is where do you see yourself in five to ten years from now? Um. further in my career than I am right now and like more accomplished than I am right now. Mel, fruits? Pineapple. <laughs> Alia, you gotta That's say- That's hard! No, don't even, don't even, not with, don't, don't even- Mel, can you be the pineapple person? Cause that's fucking crazy. No! No, no chat, back me up, for you. chat. Chat, if y'all don't back me up on God, if y'all don't back me up this time, chat. <laughs> How do you want me to say pineapple for you? I don't know what you like. Chat, back me up, because you know I was trying. You know I'm trying to be, I'm trying to be like, because why the fuck would I be? How am I supposed to be blatant about it? Like, and on top of that, if I carry it on, then y'all going to be irritated with me. Like, why are you carrying it on? But I'm trying to but like. You say pineapple. <laughs> But it just feels, feels okay. I'm sorry. I'm the worst at this. I'm the worst. You're not. At You've been doing good, but for great. I'm, but I'm really bad at. I'm really bad at like making somebody feel bad. I'm not good at that. Okay. okay. Seriously, they don't. No, I got. I got. I'm. I'm not saying I can't handle. I can handle this. But I'm saying like, I'm saying like, God damn, this is harder than I thought. Like, but I got it. Can we come up with another word? Like, can can you? <laughs> the show is the pineapple. Can me and you come up with a word they don't know, so that they, or I have to say an obvious word so everybody knows it's a part of the game. No, the show is called the pineapple show. <laughs> now you want to say it. now? That's what I got. You want to say fruit? Because <laughs> what's blow, you know what's pissing me off? People in the chat are like, "Why is she still talking to this person?" And then half of the other people are like. Why would she take pineapple to this person? I'm like, just say what you feel. Stop worrying about what. No, but I don't care about the chat. I feel bad. And then when I go on the check on the chat, the people that are like upset with me, I'm like, that's how I felt about myself already. I felt bad. But go ahead, next person. Who's the next say person? Pineapple. Hey, seriously, they know. They know the show. Most people know right. what's going on. So it's not, it's, they come here, they know it, they might get pineapple. Okay. They um, know. hold on. My, um, my friend just dropped off my wallet. Can I grab it real quick from the door? Yeah, quick? Sure. All right. She scared. She said fruit. I can't. <laughs> she said uh, fruit. <laughs> what? <laughs> All right. Um, what are you guys saying? Um, we want hot boy. You think she might like hot boy? Well, I don't know where hot boy at. I, we haven't seen him in a while. Um, Say pineapple, otherwise I didn't see you guys are going fast. If you're not interested, then there's a polite way to say that. Hope you know that. Just say a soft pineapple. Pineapple. <laughs> that, that's soft enough. Um, well, I don't know. Is Hot Boy in the chat? Uh, in oh, Hot Boy is here. Oh, I didn't see him. <laughs> Hot Boy is here. Well, he has people in front of him, so we're gonna talk to people before Hot Boy. But here come. Hey, maybe she's gonna like hot boy. We'll see. Um, what else are you guys talking about? Uh, she's definitely, I don't know, you guys going too fast. I can't I can't read that fast, guys. You need to give me a second. Um, she'll remember Pineapple Express. Well, pineapple is pineapple. Uh somebody say hot boy and uh Aliyah are gonna um 
fall in love. We'll see. I don't know. I don't know if she's going to like Hot Boy. Because she is stressed out. You guys, funny. Um, let's see. Pikachu, blink if you are. I don't know. Uh, somebody said, Melly needs slow mode for real. Yes, but I want to, you know, slow mode is not good because slow mode, I think it's something, it's on uh, allowing you to make a comment a minute or something. So you you guys don't want me to put um, to put that mode on. All right, she back. She back. They were recommending somebody for you and he's, in, he's here. So I'm going yeah. I'm to ignore it just to respect. Is people. there a way that I can make my screen bigger? I like, don't think so. No, because okay. the other thing is smaller. So maybe if you put, can can you turn your phone? I, like I see your screen, my mm -hmm. screen on the top, and then I see this little screen of me and then it says, you're in the show. Everyone can see and hear you. That's yeah. Like yeah, I don't know. Well, let's see. We got, we got more people. It's a lot of people who want to talk to you. Okay, you got <laughs> that beard. By the oh, way, shit. real quick, I just want to say to everybody that's here, thank you so much for tuning in. You know I love when you guys show me love and when y'all pull up to whatever the fuck I'm doing. I love every single person in here because if y'all don't give a shit about me, then I wouldn't make money or have a career. So mm -hmm. if y'all give a shit about me, I have a life. So I appreciate everybody. For everything always we love you too definitely uh i'm sure you got a couple new subscribers a couple new followers yeah i'm not I'm, I'm about to start back on youtube so like when mel hit me up for this i was like this is the first person i definitely want to do something like this with because obviously black women trust black women more than anything else so it's just it felt very comfortable and i'm very happy that i did this Hell yeah. Shout out. Definitely uh, shout out Melly for, for bringing this thing together. You know what I mean? Shout out I'm, Melly I'm, in the chat. Shout out Melly in the chat, everybody. Thank you. I've, so I've seen a couple of... Uh, yeah. I've seen a couple of the streams, and uh, I'm not here every day, but what I do notice is that you always bring you know, high-quality people, but people from different backgrounds. You know, uh, mm -hmm. the shoe doesn't fit for everybody, you know what I mean? And it doesn't seem like you got specifically like... I don't know, IG bimbos on here or something like that. Like you have high quality people with their own characters and you know what I mean? Different looks, different swag. Mm -hmm. I like that tuning in. Um, Thank you. To be honest, um, and hi, Aliyah, nice to meet you. Uh, to be honest, yeah, this is the first time I've ever uh, jumped in this chat. I, I, I actually crawled up out the bed and was watching the shit, and I was just like, damn, this shit's live? And I was like, yo, she's pretty fucking dope. I was like, hold on, man, let me try this shit out one time. So, uh, yeah, I'm here, uh, Primo, I'm Jay. Uh, full disclosure, I'm not in social media at all. I'm a truck driver, really don't have any kind of social media presence, so is that going to be like a, a deal breaker for you? You know what I, I mean? Care. I'm a good-hearted, kind dude. I don't care about uh, social media. How do you take care of women? What's your ver what's your version of this will be a good way to like even for the other people watching to know without asking me. Like what's your version of taking care of a woman? Like to me, this is taking care of a woman. To me, this is taking care of a woman. As far as I know as, my uh, version of taking care of a man down to a T. So you should know too. You know, like it it seems broad, but I, I feel like you're you're just talking about like in a relationship with myself, right? Like my significant other, how would I keep her happy? Shit like that. How do you take care of a woman? Um, I mean, there's several ways. If, we, if we're talking about sexually, we're talking about physically, we're talking about spiritually, we're talking about mentally, or are we talking about just my girlfriend? <laughs> you know what I mean? I know. Like, He's not answering the question. Like, what the hell? Like, how much more specific could I get about the question? I wanted mm -hmm. to use it as an example for like everybody else watching, but that's me. All right, we can, we got more. Charles. Hello, how are you? Hello, Charles. Nice to meet you, Marhaba. Marhaba. <laughs> oh, speak a little Arabic. Shoya, shoya. Oh. No, I'm actually from Ghana. I'm from Ethiopia, so I, the only African language I speak is Amharic. Yeah. 
Yeah, I know. I heard. I heard I was peeping. So given that we both got a perspective on dating African people, how do you feel about dating other Africans? You too, Melly. As long as you're not Ethiopian. Because cool. <laughs> if you're Ethiopian, it feels like I'm dating my uncle. No, as long as you're not Nigerian, you know. Nigerian is cool. No, no, no. I'm throwing shade. What do you mean? Have you ever like had you're Nigerian? Ghana? No, I'm from Ghana. But, you know, oh, we got a thing. It's Nigerian. Oh, you don't want Nigerians. Yeah, we got a thing. It's like Nigerian jollof versus Ghana jollof. Mm. You not familiar? a jollof beef. Not, not Melly with the mm. Mm. Melly said, mm. which one Melly, do you Melly, like? do you know about this? I mean, I know every each of them claim they have the best. So, but love, more than anything else is Joe Love. I thought it was oxtail that people fight over. That's Jamaicans, man. That's the, that's the Caribbeans. It's close though. <laughs> but I did have a question. So I've been watching you, and I haven't heard you answer. How do you feel about your faith? What do you mean? Like, do you have a faith? <laughs> Well, I was made, I was raised Muslim, and I still, to me, God is Allah. Mm -hmm. That's, to me, Allah, is, that's who I see as God. And I don't pray every day, and I haven't um, fasted for Ramadan for the past two years, even though I've been fasting my whole life. Right. For the past two years during Ramadan, I've been during, I've been traveling, performing, recording for artists. Like, I've been doing so much shit that we're, like, if I didn't drink water, I would pass the fuck out. Mm -hmm. It did not make sense for me not. To, it did not make sense for me to fast because if you fast, you don't drink water. And if I pass the fuck out, then I'm a legal liability and I can't work. Like, because if you keep passing out at work, you're gonna get fired. Because then you could sue your work for putting you in a position to pass out every day. So like, it just you can't sing from the bottom of your chest to the top of your heart every day for like 10 hours with no water. It makes no sense, you know what I mean? No, I get you. So the past two Ramadans, I was putting that, I was put in that position where, you know, I had to like record a lot and that shit like let me realize I had to, cause I'm like, there's no way Allah put me in a position to like reach all my dreams, reach all my goals. And once I reach it, he's like, when you're in the position to be, to write for these big artists, you need to be like, not doing it because you have to drink water so if you can't drink water stay at home and cancel this there's no way there's no way you know what i mean Nah, that's facts so is in a relationship is it important to you that your like partner be equally yoked or are you just like i'm trying to vibe with somebody equally yoked like what equally What's yoked, yoked like, it means like somebody is strong in their faith uh as you or even more yeah i prefer somebody with a belief even if it's not Muslim. If you have a strong faith, if you have a strong faith, that means you're disciplined in a certain degree. To a certain no, I agree. I agree. But if even if it doesn't agree with yours. What one thing basically I used to think I didn't care about anybody's religion and Mel, like you can hear this as my friend, like my homegirl, but like I used to think that I didn't give a fuck about anybody's religion, what they did, da da da. I didn't just think I give a fuck about any of that, right? Until I met someone that every time I talked about God, it would bother them. When I tell you bother them, I would be like, thank God, I swear to God, God is real. Da, da, da. My they would look at me like this. And I'd be like, I can't, I cannot, like, I can't deal with somebody that, that gets disturbed by the sound of God's name. Even me saying God made them like, mm -hmm. I was like, damn, I thought I didn't give a fuck about anybody's religion, but atheism means you don't believe in God. Whatever that person was on was like anti God. And that's mm -hmm. not even a Religion. That's some weird shit. If I realize I can handle anything besides being against God. If you can't handle hearing me talk about God, I cannot. I realize that's my only boundary. I don't care what religion you have, what you practice, it's for everybody watching. Mm -hmm. I don't care what you are. But if an, I can't talk about Allah around you, if I can't talk about God around you, and I talk, I, I call God Allah and God. So if I can't talk about God around you, then that's the only deal breaker for me. Other than that, I don't care what you believe in. Okay. Don't tell me not to talk about God ever. Hmm. Well, uh, <laughs> Dapper Doc, uh, pineapple was Charles for you uh, because you tried my country. Niger Jolof never finishes last. So he said, yeah, you got to go. All right. Well, we, we got more for you. 
we got a lot more. Uh, Prince and Jadaka. Hey, right? peace and blessings. Uh, is it at least? Mm -hmm. Okay. And did you say you're from the Bronx? Alia. From Ethiopia. I feel weird drinking a can on, on camera, so I'm just like. Oh, yeah, that's me. This is such a big ass. It's not a regular size. It's like a big can. So I'm like, I don't want to look like a. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. But um, my name is Alia. I was oh. born in Brooklyn. Um, I live in Los Angeles, but I'm Ethiopian. How about you? I'm from uh, Newport News, Virginia. Hmm? I'm from Virginia. But uh, I have a question. Yeah. So, what is your type in a man? Like, you like brown skin, uh, Caucasian, Asian? Like, what's your type? I like for a nigga to be darker than me for sure. Like my like my skin complexion. I love dark skin, brown skin men. Like to be okay. honest, my preference because yeah. if I'm bright as hell and you bright as hell, we just bounce the light off each other. We blind and everybody. Like, can we please like tone it down? You feel me? Like, why the fuck we both light bright as fuck? Like everybody is just like, you know what I mean? Like that's ridiculous. Like let's let's give our child a chance to not be like. A fucking ray of sunlight. Can we let him be a little tan? Like, please, like, cause I'm light skin as hell. So I don't know. To me, I have two siblings. I have a brother and a sister, and my brother looks exactly like me. He's my twin, and he's light skin with curly hair. So to me, light skin dudes with curly hair it's not gonna be a good fit. Remind me of myself and my brother. So to me, it's not like it's too much like myself. Why would someone be attracted to? what they look like then you might as well date yourself but um, i have met a few guys that are light-skinned they're like from different cultures or whatever they're from different so they look different than me they don't look ethiopian they look hispanic or they look indian or whatever so they're they're not brown skin they're not dark skin they're like darker than me but they look different so i'm cool with that but if you mm. if you look exactly like me but you're a boy then you're gonna look like my brother and that's not attractive to me <laughs> Yeah, yeah, right. Yeah, I can. Absolutely. That's just so, real life. Like, all my cousins are like with curly hair. I don't want to date someone that looks like all my family members. I want to date someone that looks like yeah. no one that looks so, like I, you know. I mean, out of 10. What, what would you rate me out of one out of ten? Uh pineapple. <laughs> That's your rating. <laughs> you didn't want to rate him? I was trying. I was trying to have like a good time, but like, what the heck? Like, I because he was asking good questions. I was like, okay, if he asks these questions, nobody else is gonna ask these questions. So I'm like, mm -hmm. this is a good question. Like, if he asks this question, people are gonna get to know these answers. But then he like, you want it to be rated, guys? Okay. Why are you calling me? Why are you guys calling me mean when like? You also want me to get him off the line. Like, guys, can you tell these you other people? You don't worry about what they're saying. They're calling me mean when I'm like, guys, like, you don't even want me to have this nigga you on the it. chat anyway. Seriously, you're not being mean at all. The, uh, the chat I'm seeing is, then I think you're seeing a different chat. The no, chat is saying they're not saying you're mean. Huh? The chat that I'm seeing, they're not saying you're mean. So, let's see, I got Curtis. Hi, Curtis. Yeah, am I on? Yes. <laughs> Can you hear me? Yes. Yo. Sorry, Curtis. That was somebody's grandfather. Mm -mm -mm. Let's see. Hi, Yoshi. Hi. Your mic is still off. Still. We can't help you. I can't unmute for you. Come back. I got a hot boy. What's Hello. Up? You know what we on? Hey, <laughs> right, Nelly, uh, you might want to check your P.O. box in a few days. Okay, I will. All right. Thank you. What's, what's your name? How you, how you say that? Alia. Alia? Yeah. I'm hot boy. Well, you can call me King if you want to, but uh, I'm I wasn't on here for like uh, for long, so like I really don't know much about you. 
So can you give me the rundown of that? And I'll tell you why I am such shit. Um well she's been we've been here for a while. Hot boy, you're late. So oh, yeah. you can introduce yourself if you want. Uh, well, no, you I, didn't like it. I was wait. Does it count if I mouth it to you? Can I mouth it to you sometimes? Yeah, like, it's the same. <laughs> <laughs> no, chat. You saw me mouth it to her like several times. Don't lie, chat. Say that you saw me mouth it to her. Say it is the same it. if you mouth no, it. No, chat. Say, say you it. saw me say. Say you saw me say it. Chat. Hold I heard you. Don't lie. I Hold heard on. you. I need. I need to see the chat. Be like, no, she said. She said pineapple. Didn't you see me say pineapple chat? They don't. <laughs> Kenny. Okay, thank you. Thank you. No, they said she said it. Look, I, I promise you. I was like. You got to say it. Girl, it's the same. Mouthing it or saying it out loud is the same. Hey, Ali. Hi, Kenny. Hey, I'm, Hi, from the, Kenny. I'm, I'm from the South, so I'm going to say your name a little different, but I'm going to say it right. It's Ali, right? Yeah. I, I got to give you uh, your props, you know what I'm saying? So I think that you said that I, I see the real woman in And uh, I appreciate that, you know what I'm saying? As a man and as a black man, you know what I'm saying? It was a lot of things that I had common conversation that just make you amazing. And I just want you to know that about you. Pineapple. Okay. See, you can say it. You're fine. <laughs> It's hard, It's hard, man. You're fine. C60, hey. hello. What's the word? Hey. Miss Ali, how you doing? Where are you at right now? Shit, I'm in the crib. What? What's the crib? I stay, okay, I stay in Chicago. Where's Chicago? Where in you Chicago? Know, I'm not going to give you my location, girl. Would you, no, would you, no. would you cool? I'm saying, who do you live with in Chicago? I live on my, I live on myself. But see, so you go get all your questions out because I got some things I, I want to ask you too. But go ahead, get all your questions out. Go ahead. Yeah, okay. All right. So, first of all, with me, because you live in, you live in LA. That's far as hell. So if the vibe ain't right, I want you to just pineapple me. Don't mouth shit. You know what I'm saying? Cause I saw you try to mouth. I, I try you try to get pineapple, uh, pineapple hot boy out. Just if you if you ain't feeling a nigga, just pineapple with me. Like don't even waste no time with it. You dig? Who's my boy? The nigga who you tried to mouth the pineapple to. You know what I'm saying? But you didn't want to say it with me. Don't you don't spare my feelings because you know if the vibe ain't there, it's not there. I'm good. Like if you pineapple with me, I'm good. You know what I'm saying? Because I can't hear the vibe. Are you yelling at me right now? No, I'm not yelling at you. But I'm just saying like if the vibe ain't there with me, don't even fake it because I ain't here for no fake shit. I'm here for to some set real the shit. the vibe up. You're yelling at me to set the vibe up. I I'm not trying to yell at you, baby girl. I'm just trying to let you know I'm a real nigga. I'm not saying there ain't other real niggas on here, but you know, just know so, right now you're talking to so a real nigga. To defend another man. I'm not defending another man. I'm not defending. You're ruining your chances with me. I'm not. I'm, I'm not. Another man who would not yell at me for you. Did that you, nigga you yell at me for you? You mis you're misconstruing what I'm what I'm trying to come at. See the niggas is trying to say. See niggas. See niggas ain't real. See all the niggas in the chat. They. They don't. They don't know how I'm coming. You don't. Again, apparently, you don't either. So just hear me out. If the vibe ain't there, pineapple me. That's all I'm saying. But 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 now that I she she just said it. C I said boom 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 pineapple. I was waiting for three seconds for something crazy to to come out about that nothing did. It was all trash. He just sat there talking about another nigga for twenty minutes. Like please, what a loser. Like why would you talk about another nigga for twenty minutes? Yeah. Let's see it. Put the to the inventory. RJ. Oh shit! How y'all doing? Can y'all can I you? come back again? I'm yeah. actually on the phone. Okay. Blessing. Hello. Oh, I'm on. That's what's up. Yo, I was just thinking, isn't it funny how God made these women so so beautiful, more beautiful than men? It's so funny. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What's up, Ali? How you doing? <laughs> Um, you know, I'm doing. That's good to hear. Yeah, yeah. I'm from uh, I'm from Cali too. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm from Long Beach. Talk your shit, nigga. Talk your shit. Talk your set. What are you talking yeah, about? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I was gonna say, man. So you say you say you believe in God, huh? Oh God. I need a religious woman a little bit. Yeah. Okay, that's good to Where hear. Where you at right now? Talk to me. Where you at? I, I'm in my apartment right now, just chilling, man. At I your really apartment? 
I got my own apartment, you Put know. Put the camera around. Shit, all right. I don't even how I do that. No, you gotta <laughs> stay on and just turn the phone. Turn the phone. Turn your phone, turn your phone around. Turn my shit probably a little dirty. You feel me? But I I got a little. No, back it up, 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 back, back, it up, it up. back into your room. Okay. Back it up and back into your room. This turn my the camera right around. Here, walk you feel me? Ah. Walk me into your room. In my room, my room dirty right now. But I'll show y'all anyway. <laughs> yes. It's daddy. That was somebody's closet. <laughs> no. <laughs> that was no. I'm 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 an independent woman. I know what everything costs in every market and in, in, in every state. I know that you can afford an apartment for I don't know what that that's somebody that lives with a family member or whatever, and he looks like close to his 30s and if by the time you're in your 30s you haven't figured out how to have your own place that means taking care of yourself and being responsible is not a priority to you and that's been a priority for me since i was 16. Mm -hmm. i've been taking care of my family since i was 15. so to me somebody that has responsibility and like they're like my life has to be this way this way sometimes structure or order that that mm -hmm. means a lot to me so if you're if you're still like living in a closet by the time you're 30, that means you're like, whatever happens, happens. And I'm not in that. I'm not into that. I'm into, these are my dreams. I want to do this. I want to do that. That's what I'm into. Not like, I don't care what happens. I don't give a fuck. I want someone with dreams and aspirations, you know? All right. Maybe we got somebody for you. Jay. Jay. <laughs> by the way, question, is it going to be men or is it men and women? My fault, my fault. I'm going to come right back. Women? Is it men and women or is it just men? I don't know. Do you like women? Oh, we didn't know that. Well, ladies. Hey, look. That's an interesting topic, but look, I'll be right back, all right? Yes. Ladies, Wait, where's he what? going? He was, he was kind of cute. Where did he go? Gonna well, he's going to be back. Don't worry. I he's thought he was kind of cute. I was actually like, ooh, what are we doing? And then he, he left. Came back. Okay, so you like girls. Okay. Well, ladies, come shoot your shot. Usually, the girls don't like girls, so... Girls would have a way better chance with me than men, trust me. <laughs> I'm much easier with girls than I am with men. <laughs> okay, hey, girls, pull that. Ah, Ladies, I'm going to get me lit. I'm over you. <laughs> get, me <lit. laughs> get me lit, Mel Mel, get me lit. Hey, we're trying. I, I wish I would have known. I would have made a, another announcement that it was for girls too tonight. Uh, let's see. I have Roadrunner. You're here, yeah. sir. Yes, ma'am. Hi, how are you? Good night, how are you doing? See you like dance, Empress. Big up yourself. Yes, What's your name? And don't um, say Roadrunner. Don't piss me off. What's your name? My name is Richard. You call me Richard. Huh? Richard, Richard. Richard? Yeah, Richard, Richard. What's I your mean, name? Nice you? Yeah, nice to meet you. I Where are you from? Nice to meet. Where are you from? Okay. Brooklyn, but I'm Ethiopian. Ethiopian. Oh, I'm Jamaican, you feel me? So you found the motherland and shit. Yeah, you know. You know where I go. Yeah, you feel me? Selassie and all of them thing there, yeah? <laughs> How the Selassie made it rain, so y'all niggas fuck with us. I know, I know, I know. You feel me? I got it. I gotta go over there, you know what I mean? But <laughs> hey, Miss Host, though, you feel me? Where, where you from? Because I'm in, I, I seen your IG profile and stuff, and I like, I heard your accent. Now, where, like, where you from, too? Me? I'm from Paris. Oh, you French? Okay, got you, got you. Because the accent kind of threw me off, but I'm, yeah, I just, that, it can't confuse me. I'm sorry, though, but Miss mm -hmm. Aliyah, though, so like, what y'all ladies got rolling tonight, though, man? What you got rolling? No, but her accent is dumb sexy, though. It's like very like. It, it, it threw me off. You feel me? I couldn't pick up where it was from. You feel me? I ain't gonna lie to you. For, most sexy foreign accents sound mean, but your foreign sexy accent sounds nice. It's on the nice mm. side, on the mean <laughs> side. Like when it's sexy and foreign, it's normally on the mean side, like French or whatever. Like, well, you're not French because the French sound more mean. I've I've heard French bitches and they sound mean as fuck. You sound like sweet, French. like a nice like flower girl. Well, I am French, so I don't know. What is it mixed with, though? French where? French what? I was born in Paris. So you're a PSG For fan? For real? Okay, so that's what it is. She's, she's from Paris. Okay. 
foot. You're from you the soft side of France. You're not from the rough side. You're from, from Paris. Like, that's why your accent is on the softer side. It's not on the rougher, like, aggressive side. You know what I mean? I don't <laughs> the know. ones that I've heard. Like, the most, most of the French accents I've heard are from musicians. A lot of musicians that play, like, for artists in L.A., mm -hmm. bassists, pianists, guitarists, they're all French. Okay, I start from the ghetto side, not from the so French, side. like food or stuff I'm like very, like, and and like, whoa, 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 Ali, you ever been you ever been back to Ethiopia before though? Um pineapple. Pineapple. I didn't want to cut him off. He was really cool, but it just wasn't going anywhere. No problem. He was acting he was like on FaceTime and this is not FaceTime. So we got more. Uh what's his name came back in? Premium uh Emante. Your mic is off. You wanna turn it on? Hi. What's up, Nelly? Hi. <laughs> So you got pineapple by the chat, but you're back. So what's up? Yeah, I'm back. Um, so, so what's up with you? Alia, I want to yeah. know something about you, and then you can ask me something. OK, so what do you want to know about me? What are your top three things My top that you enjoy three? doing? In your no. My top three what? The chat said no, you're not talking to him. Okay. Um, <laughs> Whatever the chat says. I mean, I love that. That's what I love about live streaming. Like, control the chat, please. Chat, mm -hmm. like, control what we're doing. Like, that's what I love about live streaming. Yeah. Trevor, you want to turn yeah. your camera a little bit? Oh, yeah. shoot. I'm on there. Shoot. Uh, give me one second. You want to come back? Uh, No, nah, let me put my headphones in. Hello, uh, can you hear me? Yeah. Oh, shoot, I didn't think I was going to pick. All right, uh, what's up? What's up? Uh, so, um, I kind of just been listening uh, to Ethiopian. I wish I could zoom you in so I can make you like large on my screen. But yeah, I'm Hambisha. Oh, uh, really? You speak Amadinya? Tinnish, yeah. Uh, well, same, same. But I'm not Actually, uh, I don't know why same. I'm Are you Hambisha? Yeah, Indignish. Or salami dinish. Uruning, nothing not bad to Amarina Yawara Lu and Antibishan Hamarina Matara. Oh, oh. Antibishan, nothing not bad to Yawara Lu. See, so I'll go ahead and tell you, Amarina is not it's not the best. No, nothing not bad to Amarina Yawara Lu. I'm lost. I said your mother and father speak Amarina, oh, right? No, just my dad. You don't know how to. Okay. You, so, I, I'll just give you a little No, 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 it's okay. I'm not judging you. That's not uh, okay. kind of judgmental. I'm sorry. I was going to say, I, I was only raised no, like one like parent. I'm not or not, nigga. Like, I judge uh, my cousins and my siblings, but you're not my family. Like, I don't care. Look are you, like, full? <laughs> huh? Both of your parents? Yeah. Uh, I'm first generation. I'm the first one born here. Uh, same. Uh, <laughs> where at? If you don't mind me asking. I said, where at? If you don't mind me asking. Born? No, like, Ethiopian. Um, so, my... Mother is from the city, like Addis, uh, and my dad is from the, like a little bit more from the Gata. Ah, uh, uh, my family you know, is a. Uh, you know where Gata is, right? Uh, not really. Uh, the Gata, they, like, like, um, out in the like the like where they have the huts and like like where it's like far from the city. I, I, from the I, I get, I get it. That uh, one, that's yeah, called was, the Gata. That's one like it's like far from the city or whatever. But. Uh, um. My like, grandparents. That's saying. Uh, what are they saying? I just want to see what the chat was saying. Uh, but yeah, um, my family's from uh, so this kilo. If you know about that. Hmm? So this kilo. Kilo. Yeah, so this kilo. So this six kilos of what? No, so this kilo. The, so the this country. kilo means six kilo, six kilos. That's what that means, the translation. So this kilo, the translation in English is six kilos. That's what that means. Ah, see, I, I, 
and everything yeah, that one. Yeah, six kilo means like and hulat sauce arat ames sedis. I know the yeah, so I know the numbers. Sauce arat ames sedis. Yeah, yeah, zero, one, two, three, four, five, six. So sedis kilo, six, six kilos. That's a. That's yeah, a, are you trying I'm, to shoot your shot, or you're trying to learn her language? I mean, I'm not really trying to learn it. If I want to learn it, I'll talk to my grandparents. Okay. I want to shoot my hey, shot. Hey, I'm yeah, just no. trying to, you know, share that one thing in common. That's about it. Other than that, uh, so what do you, I guess. Well, the chat, you, t- you took too long. The chat said, no, sir, I'll do it for Aliyah. Yeah, no. Okay. The chat said, no. Uh, let's see. I, I got a girl. Hi, Brenda. Hi. Hello, how are you? Hello. Hi. Hello, can you hear me? Yes. Yeah. Okay, okay. I'm from South Africa. I'm Brenda. I love that. I have a lot of fans from South Africa. I can't wait to come out there. I want to come out there this year for real. I want to okay, have like, okay. a performance out there, like, because I have so many people that support me out there, and I just I want to like have a big party out there. Okay. Anyway, I'm just here to say pineapple. What? Brenda! <laughs> that makes no sense. If she was saying pineapple, she looked like a pineapple. I wanted to say pineapple the second she popped on the screen, but I was trying to be nice, but we could... <laughs> Who was she defending? One of those ugly-ass niggas that were her friends? Like, please, back it up, Brenda. <laughs> Actually, no. See Brenda getting me out of character. She's trying to she trying to get me looking crazy on live. That's what Brenda trying to do. Brenda... Brenda, stop it. That's the Brenda that. Never mind. All right, let's see. Jay is back. Jay, you ready now? Yeah. What's going on? Hi. Y'all doing all right tonight? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. (laughs) You quiet. You quiet, man, when I get on. But look, though, uh, you were saying something. You were talking to Melly about something. About women. You know, you like like females? Yeah. Okay. How long you been doing? Like into that. Um, I don't know. like when did I start liking women? Mm-hmm. No, I'm just like your first experience with a woman. Like, how long ago was that? Um, my first adult relationship was with a woman. Nineteen. So from nineteen to like twenty was with a woman. <clears throat> um. So yeah, in terms, you want to know what kind of women I like or like. No, nah, I'm not. You ain't got to do all that, but I'm just saying, you know, that's interesting because I don't think it's ever been a girl who came on here that like women for real or expressed that they like women like that. So we had a few. For real? Mm-hmm. Jay, can you pick up your phone? I think he's making a noise. Let's see. Yeah, it's good. Yep. Thank you. Right, cool. Cool. But I mean, shit. I don't know too much. I don't know if y'all want to tell me something or not. So. I mean, talk to her. Where are you from? Really? I'm from. I'm from no, I mean, shit. Like I said, I'm I don't from, know. You heard all of this. You heard where she from. I honestly didn't. You heard. This well, made me part of shot. Hold on. Let me part of shot. From Ethiopia, but she was born in New York. Hey. I know it's a tiny little shot, but it's I don't, tiny. I don't, like, t- I don't like big shots. <laughs> okay, okay. Where you at right now? She's my in LA. Girl, my homegirl's house. All right. So you. Okay, Jay, tell me when, because, uh, hey, what Give you... me right. Give me right. Hey, I yeah. think you're kind of cute, but you're like not talking much. So no, I, let, let I, I mean, know. shit, like, I, I'm what not do you really do? Much of talk. To How about you ask me? Jay, what do you do to, to please your women, to make sure your woman is happy with you? What do you do? Shit, as long as she feed me, I'm going to fuck her good. That's what you're supposed to do. <laughs> That's right? it. You're just gonna fuck her good. That's At the it. end of the day, what a woman want? Not just dick. Pineapple. I'm... Jay, come on. You know better fuck than that. Her good. Do you know how many niggas want to fuck me good? I don't care about being fucked good. I want a nigga that loves me. Like, what is wrong with these niggas? I swear to God. Hey. Let's see. These niggas is more slutty than girls nowadays. Like these niggas are sluts. Girls ain't sluts. Niggas are sluts. Like honestly, I think he was the cutest nigga on here so far, mm-hmm. and he just fucked it up by being slutty. Like I thought he was actually cute. I thought he was actually cute, and he like 
Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> that thing you from- like was being slutty. Like, ew, I don't want a nigga that's a slut. How y'all doing today? Good, how are you? I'm doing pretty fantastic. Fantastic. Right here, it's good to see you again, Melly. It's nice to meet you. Alia, correct me if I'm wrong. Alia. Alia. Oh. Mm-hmm. Give me one moment. Set to pause the music real quick. Oh, so to see you're a big smoker. Uh you were talking about investment uh, as far as uh you personally starting, you know, just messing with weed in general. Can you tell me a little bit more about that? If well, possible. Basically, like since I've been a jit, like when I was 14, me and my friends like came up with, oh, let's start an art collective for black people because we were a part of art shows and all that shit. And like the black people would be told you're lucky to have exposure and the white people get paid to be in the art shows. You know what I mean? So we started an art platform just for queer, disabled, marginalized people of color. Anybody that was a person of color that was any type of margin, either you're a person of color, either you're a disabled person of color, either you're a queer person of color, but anybody that wasn't a, that was a person of color that was in any way in a marginalized group of people, we wanted to give them a platform just for them, aka no whites allowed. And we didn't give a fuck about saying that. And that made our platform go viral in two weeks. In two weeks of all of us going on our Tumblr and being like, hey, everybody go to our whole collective and da da da. It went viral. We were on the news. We were on CNN. We were on ABC, Huffington Post, New York Times, all the shit that you could think of. And we got to bring a bunch of young kids that had nothing to their name. We got to bring them checks, like checks that would like buy them a house for their family in their country, buy them like whatever. But like basically the whole like I don't even give a fuck about promoting my art collective. My point is like if you ever have had an idea where you're just like, oh my God, this is lacking in the world and if I did this it would fix it, do it. Because if you have an idea and you're like, this would fix the world, it would make the world a better place, I promise you it will make the world a better place. And all you have to do is invest your time and money into it and you'll make such a big difference that you'll be like, this is what I was put here on the art to do. You know what I mean? Like the earth to do you know what i mean i can dig, like, I can dig that um if i mm, i don't want to ask that question right away uh if you could say one thing that would help the world right personally to you what would that be people caring about the environment more yeah. we're like our our grandkids grandkids are not gonna have a nice earth to live in if we don't get our shit together on some roof <laughs> At least for me. Not even on some like promoting an environmental propaganda, but if we don't take care of our earth, our grandkids are not going to have a nice crib to live in. <laughs> They're going to be living in dirt. That's true. I mean, plus nowadays, 2023, not a lot of people are going out, you know. There's a lot of children out here that actually do not know how to ride a bicycle. <laughs> I just found that out a couple of days ago. But, um, so you're basically a superhero at this point, right? <laughs> no. No. I mean, you no. you do a lot. You do a lot from what I've been hearing. Not just that I'm an artist myself. Uh, can I show you a little something with mine? right here, real quick? Um. It's on paper. It's nothing. Nothing crazy. <laughs> you're about to rap. No, no, no. It's just you say you're an artist, um, but you have different factions. You no, do what, music. What are you about to do? Nothing much. Just, Madeline, can you cover your eyes just real quick? Please. Yeah, All right, eyes. What, am, what am I about to look at? Wait, why does she have to cover her eyes? But I'm I'm, I'm not looking right now. Can I no, 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 no. It's nothing crazy. The, the, the chat see it. Chat, no. let them know that chat. let them know there's nothing crazy. That I, I'm gonna they, look at the chat real quick before I even open my eyes. I'm okay, I'm on the chat. I can't see you. Give it like a, a guys, can is- I see what he's can I see or should I just tell him to get off? What should I tell him? Before I even look at the picture of what you're post what you're not supposed to see Melly. Well, you're taking too long. I'm like, I'm not gonna stay here like this for 20 okay, minutes. I'm, okay, I'm about to see. Let me see. What is that? It's a little. 
It's just a little, um, I would say like a little sketch, like a, you know, a little new sketch that I just started. It's about somebody. I'm not going to say no names. All right. Well, the chat pineapple. See, I said pineapple. My I, said eyes, pineapple. I don't see those instant pineapple. Because they see me saying that. pineapple, pineapple, pineapple. That's why they're saying that. That's why they did that. They're trying to help me out. Because Oh, my God. Um, well, I think that was a sketch of me. <laughs> no, that wasn't. <laughs> that was not a sketch of you. I think it was. And you say, what is that? <laughs> I'm over you. That looked nothing like you. You like a you look like a Caribbean angel. That nigga drew. I don't know what he drew, but you look like like a super sweet Caribbean angel. I don't know what he. I don't know what that was, but that was not. The chat is saying it was me. Chat. That was that was he. He was drawing her, and you think that looked like her? <laughs> you think that looked like Mel? <laughs> Ali, I say it's not. <laughs> okay, okay, we got so many more people. If you don't like, say pineapple. I'm trying to get you to see as many people because we're gonna go in probably ten minutes. We're we're out. So thank you, thank you. That was a dude named Mel. That was a dude named Michael Jordan. That thank you, thank you. Rich Boy City, you're thank here. You. Mel is pretty as fuck. That made no sense. Oh, thank you. Like what? You're pretty as hell. Hello. Hello, King Drone. What's what's going on? Oh, she not. We gotta wait for her to come she back. Here. She here. Oh, she's here. Okay. So yeah, hello. My name Marcus. Uh, Twenty eight. Uh, from Cali. But besides that, I got a question for you. What's up? I was wondering, like, would you prefer a dude that has? A hundred K in debt or a hundred body count? A mm. hundred people that he fucked? Yeah. That's a weird question. I don't even know how to answer that. Give me another question. I don't even know how to answer that. For real? I mean, I, I guess so. Well, I don't know. Why well, have you fucked a hundred people? Then also, why are you on hundred K in debt? Like, both of those are turnoffs. I can't pick either of those. You know what you I mean? You can't be either. You couldn't, you, you couldn't choose if you had to. Okay. That's just like ridiculous. I mean, <laughs> it's, it's, possible. it's possible. Like, people be having 100K in debt. Shit, it is. It is what it is. All right, let's see. Rondo 9, hello. <laughs> Where are the women at? Where are the women at? I don't know. You should have told me. I didn't know you like girls. I didn't know. Hello. Pineapple. All right. We can't even see that person. Hello, sir. What's good with you? How y'all doing? Nothing much. How are you? Chilling, chilling. How you doing? You Hi. Got, you got one of them joints. I like uh, that good pussy song you got. That should, that should be right. Give me a line of it if you want to impress me. Makes me feel like I think good pussy. Hey. <laughs> yeah, I know that joint. Okay, he gets, he gets five stars for, for singing song. A <laughs> How y'all doing this evening? How you doing this evening? Chilling. I'm hanging out with my girl Mel doing this little live dating thing. It's fun. Okay. Yeah, I just tapped in. I, I seen you was on here. Uh, yeah, you know. Fuck on my girl, Mel. Okay. Mad you. cool. Make sure you follow her on everything. I don't know what you follow her on, but follow her on. If you follow her on YouTube, follow her on Instagram and TikTok. And da -da -da. if you follow her on Instagram, follow her on YouTube. Subscribe to her YouTube. If you subscribe to her YouTube, follow her on Twitter. <laughs> Whatever the fuck you gotta do, nigga. Make sure you support all her platforms. Don't play with me. <laughs> If you wanna, if you wanna fuck with me, you gotta support her. Like, don't, don't do that. We well, don't know that already. Melly, I Melly bet. Is a G. I bet. Then I fuck with you. Melly's a G. For my girl, then I fuck with you. Yeah, for sure. So where are you from, uh, the Honorable V? I'm from Denver. Okay, you live in Denver right now? Yeah. Yeah, we out here. It's lovely out here. It's one of the best kept secrets. Not too many people know about it. We got good air, good weed. Great art scene popping off. Uh, so it's it's just the best kept secret. Oh, yeah, that's how you feel? 
Yeah, for sure. Colorado. Yeah, you gotta come check it out. Especially. A bunch of my homies have been telling me about Colorado, but yeah, like, I talk about chat. Which how y'all feeling? We got an underground scene of art and like the culture, as far as black people is kind of just submerging right now, especially in the art and of course the cannabis. We got that on lock. Which y'all want, chat? Yeah, mm -hmm. on yeah. So how, how old are you? Uh, I'm 35. Okay. Do you have any kids? <laughs> nah, no kids. No kids. Just are you ready for a relationship? Uh, I'm somewhere getting ready to. I'm I'm just looking to. Have. Uh, huh? <laughs> Sorry, the honorable V. You don't like him? No, he's cool, but like, I don't feel a connection at all. You don't feel the connection. Okay. No worries. Hi, Kisamba. But I want the chat to Hi, chat. Yeah. chat. I want you guys to tell me if you want. If you guys want pineapple, send me pineapple emojis, and I'm gonna like. But I want you guys to help me, chat. That's the whole point of you guys being here. Like, help me out. If somebody's pineapple, send me pineapple emojis, and I'm gonna listen to you guys. I promise. Hey, Aaliyah. Hi. How are you? How are you? Well, I'm pretty good. Talking to you, that means I'm alive and and good. <clears throat> Pineapple. Okay. Sorry. Sorry. Why was his lips so glossy? He looked like he had lip gloss on. I don't like that. I don't want your lips to be glossier than mine. Okay. Um, we got more for you. I got Soldier. Hello. Hey, what's up, Ali? How you doing? Hi. What's up, Monica? What's up? How y'all doing? Shit. You hella sexy though. You know what I'm saying? Um, shit, I'm a producer. I'm in LA. Uh, Let's pause for a minute. What's up? Pause. Why the fuck is you naked right now? <laughs> I be that. chilling because I'm a I'm an artist. No, producer. don't tell me how you be chilling because why the fuck is you naked right now on this chat? I'm not naked. I just got my shirt off. You I naked as fuck. As I'm a nigga home. that's I'm naked, a, what, you got to have your dick on the screen to feel naked? I'm just relaxed. Shit, it's how That's, I relax every you day. You too fucking shit. relaxed for me. I'm just meeting you. That's crazy. You a little slut, ain't you? Basically, I mean, I really want you and Monica. No, I ain't gonna lie. you a little slut. That's I want what both of y'all. No, you a slut. I want both of y'all. Okay, you know what sluts get? Sluts get pineapple. You a slut. This nigga is a slut. That is a slut of a man. Why the fuck was he naked on the first live chat? That didn't make me comfortable. That made me feel like he was. I didn't like that. That man came on the screen just naked. Like he said, What's up? I'm not naked. I, I My dick isn't showing on the screen. What the fuck you mean? So your dick ain't showing on the screen. That means you're not naked? What it's the fuck okay. wrong with this nigga? And I told the chat, Pineapple me. And they said, Pineapples. And I'm listening. Like, let me know. Whenever it's pineapples, let me know. I will pop a nigga off the screen. Help me down. I'm trying to. We supposed to be a team. We supposed to be a team. Let me know, and I'm up. Whatever y'all say, I'm with y'all. Hi, members on the Ace Four. What's up? What's up with it? How y'all doing tonight? How are you? I'm great. I'm great. Uh, I can't complain at all. It wasn't a long one. I've been trying to get in for a minute. Um. It was full. Like you, like I got a long it's line tonight. Full cool right now. So we yeah. on Young Bell's live. So you know. Yeah, I'm trying to get like yeah. Uh, so what's going on? Well, right now I'm visiting my family. Right now I'm on. Uh, I ain't on vacation. I'm on a vacation. But my birthday is in a couple of days. Okay. So, uh, I'm Happy visiting birthday. my family in New York. Thank you. Yeah, single to Mayo. So, yeah. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. She's receiving a call. She'll be back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, she back. Back. I'm trying to hang up the call. Mm -hmm. Trying to hang up? Yeah, so I could get back on the line. Okay, then, okay, then. Hey, one question, though, since you're an artist. Um, what was the song that got you into music? What was, like, the first song that got you into music? I'm finished. Like the one of the songs, like 
song that I made or a song that like I mean either or I'm I'm just saying what what sparked your interest what we'll put that light of that fire in you like okay. It may if it might not even been a song, it might have just been a situation. It could have been a situation. That's actually a good question. I'll tell you. Say to me or convince me to Damn, where's my lighting right? Because I, I want to glow too. Huh? Can I glow like y'all? I want to glow too. Oh, I think so. I get lit, so I'm like, this is sparkling water. <laughs> but basically, oh, no. like, but I am high. <laughs> but basically, like, um, when I was when I came back from Ethiopia, my cousin Nadia. Me and her, my mom and her mom were the only ones that came to America from my family in Ethiopia. Everybody lives in Ethiopia. My whole family lives there. But my mom and her mom were the only ones that came here. So when I lived in Ethiopia when I was a kid and I came back to America and I was at her house and I went to her bedroom and she was playing music from her room, I was like, you have internet in your room? Because when I lived in Ethiopia, I had to go to an internet cafe to get internet. So when I went to her bedroom, she had internet and she was playing We Belong Together by Mariah Carey. I started singing it. So I'm like a little baby and I'm like, who else am I going to know? And I'm yeah, who else am I going to yeah. And she was just like, like, but I like was singing it, like belting it as a kid. And she was just like, what the fuck? You can sing to that. So she brought me to a bunch of my family members and she made me sing and Ever since then, when I was a kid, I would sing as a kid, like for all my cousins. And then as an adult, I posted a few videos online. I made a career out of it. I fell with that. What do you do, members on the ace for? Right now, I'm in a, uh, I'm in a trade right now, in a distribution. I fuck with like hemp, CBD, stuff like that, that nature. Um, so I really uh one of my goals is to have my own shop one day. So I really want to get that location right. I was raised in North Carolina, it's not quite legal there. I was born in New York, so I don't know. I'm trying to see what's up with my family, see if I can get a team together. I used to live in Cali. Huh? Maybe you can hit me later, but this this is like a sweet so like you know, pineapple but you say it's a sweet pineapple. <laughs> You're funny. <laughs> it's a sweet one. I'm saying it's like a speed thing. And he was yeah, like, I mean, we're going to go. We got to go soon. Uh, okay, question to see how, how much time we get because we got to go. But um, do you want to sing or no? I can sing if you want me to. Yeah, I mean, they're asking. They're asking, so... Hell yeah, I'm down to sing if they want me to. All right, so I'm going to make you talk to a little, uh, maybe four more guys, but you got to do a speed round. If you see them, you're not attracted or whatever, you got to say it. Okay. Okay? And okay. then I'll, I'll let you sing, and then we're going to go. Okay. All right. So let's see. We got BT. Hi, BT. Your mic is off. BT, let's go. Hey, what's going on, ladies? How y'all doing? Hi. Miss um, Millie and uh, Aaliyah. Um, actually, I want to get into the music. That's really uh, 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 one of the things that I wanted to ask you about. Um, is, um, pineapple. I wanna... I'm sorry, BT. We're doing a, a quick round, so she's going to be real up front, real quick. Hi, Sean. Uh, hi. How are you? Hi. Good. How are you? I'm fantastic. I'm over here in sunny Australia. So... The time is just after 10 past one in the afternoon. No. Yes. I'm in Sydney. No, like, let's, let's tell him to, you know. What do you mean? Tell him. No, no, that's cool. That's fine. That's fine. Next. You got to you gotta say it, girl. No, it's no I, I want to just tell him to rap it. Like, when I say Mel, tell him, like, okay, so what else? What else? Like, oh, okay. Mel, just be like, what else? What else? If okay. they don't say anything, I'll say pineapple. Okay, Tre Trevon, hello. Hey, what's up, what's up, what's up, Nelly? What's yeah. up, uh, Alia? That's how I say it, right? Yeah. So, yeah, yeah, um, I'm from something in South Carolina, Columbia, South Carolina. Um, I usually don't do shit like this, you know what I'm saying? Pop up on live and shit like that, but, you know, pretty private, but I work in politics, stuff like that. Um, 
organizer, community organizer. You know what I'm saying? So I heard you did art, like social justice environment, stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? I wanted to hear you talk uh, you know, a little bit about that. You know what I'm saying? About, you know, Pineapple. what would you <laughs> where sorry. Okay. What in the social uh, justice league? <laughs> oh my God, what in the world? Hi Jody. What up? What up? Nothing much. How are you? Okay, I have a question. Aliyah, do you have an OnlyFans? Stop yes. it. Can you stop it? No, no Aliyah has an yeah. OnlyFans. Yeah. And and Jody does OnlyFans. Can you stop right. it though? Can I introduce myself first? Well, you came too late. We don't got time for all of this right now. We, we're gonna go soon. But I'm sorry. Yo, you never let me introduce myself. I, I don't want to be the only fans, dude. Please stop. I apologize. I apologize. Surely. Go for it. All right. What's up? What's up? Is it uh 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 Alia? Alia, yeah. All right, so I want to get off of all the formalities, and I know you probably tired of hearing all that shit. You know what I'm saying? So uh, start off, age, if you don't mind. Jody, we're too too late in the show to talk about age, where she's from. She My says, age? I'm 23. I'm Ethiopian. I'm from Brooklyn, New York. Uh, uh, BK. Yeah. Do you act like them niggas from BK? Is you super rude and shit like that? I've been living in LA for four years, so I had to tone it down so that every conversation I have with somebody isn't, oh, nice to meet you. You're from New York, aren't you? In order well, was to, that a, uh, was when that I first like met you, I was like, you're, what's word? My name's Aya. You're, like, like, I was mad aggressive. To, uh, I, was, I, I Like, everything that I said, so I was, was that like, like a, uh, everything was that I a, said made it sound like I was, you know what I mean? But it wasn't. So, so was what's up? Other, like than a, that, other than that, uh, what you want to talk about? I'm saying, was that how much of a, of a change was that for you? You know what I'm saying? If you had to come back from being everybody, just like get the fuck out of here, beat and all that shit, and then you come down to LA and everything is different. How much of a change was that? A culture shock. It was a little bit of a change, but I was fine. So you adapted pretty well. Yeah. No kids whatsoever. No. None. Okay. That's what's up. That's what's up. What do you do for a little bit, uh, mommy? Yes. I throw cannabis art shows and I make music. Cannabis art shows. That sounds pretty I interesting. I'm doing OnlyFans and that makes a lot of money too, but yeah. Hey, trust me, I know. Millie knows, I know. Okay. <laughs> but nah, uh, cannabis art shows. That's <laughs> cannabis art shows. I'm trying to figure out. Millie knows, I know. What this <laughs> Cannabis art show, okay. You said what? Wait, Um, what's it called? Pineapple, because mm -hmm. you have you, we have to get to everybody, right? Yeah, that's the name. Yeah. That's it. That's it. We're we're done. We're done. Did you did you find anyone that you liked? Can you show me the list of the people you saw? Are you serious? <laughs> you think I got um, a list? I like the last one. I like the guy that I thought that was cute. The first guy that I thought was cute with the dreads, but it was Jay? like. But you find out with him, huh? Jay. Yeah. You what pineapple did I, him. What? Why did I pineapple him? Uh, I forget. Maybe he's just not good at this live stream thing. But I thought he was cute. I think. Okay. He's the same guy I'm thinking about. He I has think a really cute is. face. Mm -hmm. He was brown skin. He had a really cute face. Yeah, he had dress. Um, the last guy was cool. There was another guy that I thought was cool too, but he just was horrible at holding a conversation so it doesn't matter if he's cute and cool like he was horrible at holding conversation so the first guy and the last guy but okay. if you can remind me of the last if you can remind me of the guys in between maybe no. if there's a person it's, I don't know but other than that like I don't know like it was too many I, I'm not gonna remember yeah you remember the guy from the beginning though right like the one that I thought was cute and then You're I ended up about Jay? yes I remember Jay yeah he had like yeah. mid-range Dreads. He was right. cute. Yeah, I remember him. Well, uh, maybe he's gonna slide. You know, he's gonna see that and slide. So, so let, there was let's... another guy that we thought that. I mean, I thought he was cute, but um, again, he couldn't hold the conversation, so we had to get him off. I forgot what he was. He was like a little. I think he was a little muscular. I'm not sure, but um, um if you can send me a recording of the live stream, I'll just go through and I'll, I can send you screenshots. You know. Okay. Cool. That sounds good. It's it's gonna be it's live, so it's already gonna be posted on Facebook and YouTube. So, but I'll send you the link. So, okay, are you gonna sing for us? We got 
Five minutes. Oh, yeah. What song Thank do you want to hear? I don't know. Whatever you want to sing. Something you like. I mean, I know they're your songs, but. <laughs> chat wants the chat. I mean, I don't know if they're going to know your own songs. I don't know. Um, okay. I could sing the song that's been stuck in my head all day. It's an Amy Winehouse song. Oh, okay. Shoot. Go for it. Ba -ba -ba -da 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 -da. You should be stronger than me. You've been here seven years longer than me. Don't you know you're supposed to be the man? Hell in comparison to who you think I am. You always want to talk it through. I don't care. I always got to comfort you when I'm there. Just what I need you to do. Are you gay? I've forgotten all of young love's joy. Feels like a lady and you're my lady boy. All the respect I made you earn. Thought there were so many lessons to learn. Don't you know you're supposed to be my Not in comparison to who you think I am. You always want to talk it through. I don't care. I always got to come for you. Just when I need you to do it, are you gay? Hey. Yeah. All right, girl. <laughs> All right. Awesome. Um, well, tell us where we can find you, where we can hear your music. If you have some of your own music out, tell us everything. I bet. Tell me. Um, you so I have Good and Ready that I just released two months ago. And I have a song coming out with Uno the Activist. We're going to release a whole music video for it. And it's going to be like insane. Like we have a music video with like ten, ten of like the littest girls on social media, and we're just gonna like do this crazy party video for it. But um, if you don't know about one of the activists, go look him up. He's an amazing rapper. But um, we're doing this crazy music video in the next two months that's gonna go viral. And besides that, I have my song "Good and Ready" that I released two months ago, and. You know, I have my next cannabis art show coming up soon. Okay. And besides that, just look up Ali Kadir on all social media platforms on Instagram, on Twitter, and on OnlyFans. It's at Medusa Please. So if you go to Medusa Please dot com, M E D U S A Please dot com, you'll find everything. All of my links for everything. So okay everything <laughs> all right girl. Well, i appreciate you for coming uh Thank guys you for really, having me yes guys if you want to find her she's you can go to the ig and you're going to find all the links on her ig and um and that's it all right well i appreciate you for coming i hope you had some fun i did you did okay and i know you gotta get to a shoot and a bunch of stuff yeah, I have a shoot at 8.30, so my driver is going to get going right now. <laughs> got to get going right now. All yeah. right, girl, well, I appreciate you, and uh, I'll talk to you soon. We're going to hang out since you okay. live right next door. Yeah, I have a few plans for us. I'm going to text you. Oh, shit. All right. Yeah, I got you. Like, there's a few things that you're going to love, so I'm going to text you soon. Okay. All I'll right. talk to you soon. Bye, and girl. to everybody that was on this chat, thank you so much for coming to hang out with us. Like we fuck with you. Thank you for all the support. And this was fun. I'm definitely down to it again. Even if like we could do it, me and my friend and somebody wins a date with us. And then we could film a YouTube video of the date. You know what I mean? 
That would be cool. It could be me and my friend, and it could be like two guys competing for like a double date. Mm-hmm. And then the winners can like we can film it on a YouTube video. Hey, we can do and that. And I'll send you my friend that I'm thinking of so you can see. And then we can see who wins a double date, and then we can make a YouTube video out of it. Okay, that sounds good. Cool. All right. Well, you have a good shoot, and I'll talk to you. Thank you, boo. Yeah. Have, have a good night. Bye. Thank you. You too. <laughs> Bye. Bye. All right, guys, that was Aliyah. If you, if you didn't get a chance to talk to her, the chat is still, uh, the room is still full. I apologize, we gotta go. But this is her IG, so make sure you check her out. Make sure you follow her, comment, like, you know, you do what you do. She has, a, she has some links. So you go on the links and then you, you find what you need. She got OnlyFans, she got an uh, art show coming up. You guys go and do that. Go support, please and thank you. All right, guys. So that's it. That's all we have for tonight. We're going to go because uh, in five minutes, we're going live on Instagram for the, the pineapple show after dark. Hopefully you guys are coming from YouTube or Facebook to uh, Instagram. And, uh, and that's it. I hope you guys had a good time. I did. And, um, and that's it. That's all. That's all I got for you guys tonight. I mean, for now on, on YouTube. So if you want to go to the After, after Dark, it's on IG at uh, Meli Monaco. You know, right here, right here, here. At Meli Monaco, you go and uh, you check it out. We'll be on there. And uh, tonight I have Shanice. I think some of you might know Shanice. Some, some of you might remember her. So pull up. Pull up. All right, guys. I appreciate you. I hope I see you, uh, if not tonight, on Instagram. I hope because you're gonna come and shoot your shot at Chinese. If I don't see you tonight, I hope I see you. Ooh. Oh, tomorrow, shit, I'm leaving. Before telling you, tomorrow we have the Lovers Hotline. Me and my friend, if you wanna have a piece of advice, you're going to a situation, you just call in. It's at 9 p.m. Eastern time, you call in and we'll help you. Uh, so we're doing that tomorrow, 9 p.m. Yes, all right, that's it. That's all we have. What's up, Mel, shout out. Love your shows. Well, thank you, David. Thank you, thank you. I love you guys. I appreciate you. And hopefully I see you on Instagram in four minutes. Good night. <laughs>